Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today we're answering the question, why should you learn Material Maker? I know that's a ridiculous question and a silly question, but uh, I will entertain it and give you an answer. So the reason is very simple because you can make 3D Nokia phones using Material Maker. Just look at this. I mean, if this doesn't give you the motivation to learn Material Maker, I'm not sure what will. This is just a, a 3D cube with a material on top of it of a Nokia phones, just look at that. It's super, super amazing. And uh, if this can make that, imagine what else you can make with it. And uh, let me just navigate this so you can see this from different angles. And you can even see the parallax with, uh, with this. So if I move this around, you can see the nice reflection, how this captures the reflections and uh, uh, everything like that. And uh, the great thing about this is that uh, this material maker can export these textures directly into Blender. So uh, if you go on a file, export material, you have the option to export to material, to Blender, Godot, Unreal, Unity, uh, Unity, HDP, RP, I'm not even sure what that is, and uh, Unreal. So any, basically any project, any project that supports PBR textures can work with uh, material maker. It works like Substance Designer in that uh, you use nodes to build your materials up, to build up procedural shaders uh, like we have here. We, uh, this project was uh, you're able to make uh, a procedural uh, Nokia phones. I, I don't even know how they managed to, to do something like that, but uh, we, we have seen what nodes can do with uh, Node November, so I'm not surprised that uh, this can be done in Material Maker as well. And uh, the great thing about this is that uh, if you don't know how to make your own shaders, it's very simple. You can just go to File, uh, Load Materials from Website, and uh, they have this library of a community library where you can share materials. So if you don't, if you can't make your own materials, you can just go to the library and uh, just get something uh, from uh, there and uh, then use it in Blender for, for your own projects. So I've just loaded that in. I'm just going to wait for it to uh, appear here to load up in the screen here. I'm just going to give it a moment. And uh, you can see at the top here, uh, how the material, if the material is downloading, you can see it download up here and, uh, and uh, being prepared, uh, giving you the, the number of seconds that are remaining uh, for the download to complete or for the compilation to complete. And uh, as uh, that comes up to eight seconds, and it's done so you can see how the materials look so uh, so we have our rocks i think this this is not the best looking material so uh, let me go back to the library and uh, load something better uh so let's get let's get this wood sterilized wood i think uh, i like it better and again you can look at this bar here to see how long it's going to take okay so now that we have that downloaded you can take a look at uh, this model here and I think you can change the actual model to something different so select that let me change this to a sphere and I think this uh, gives us a better representation of the, the the wood material I can see how that look so look so let me just export this directly into into blender so that we can see how we can use that so export I'll uh, just save and uh, I can see the progress bar shows you how long it's taking and uh, it's already exported. It's really fast at, at exporting. So we can go into Blender, new project. I'll just also grab a cube, give it a subdivision surface so that it's more like a sphere. And I think I can uh, apply that subdivision surface. Brand new material. Uh, I should be a PBR. Uh, this exports PBR material. So you need to use the principal BSDF uh, shader for that. And I'm going to select that and use Control Shift T to navigate to where I've exported the textures. And then I can select these files just like that and uh, import. If I go to EV here, I should be able to see the materials. And uh, maybe just bring this down just like that. And, uh, maybe let me just use sphere projection. Yeah. You can already see that this looks exactly as it looked in Material Maker. And uh, if you're using cycles, you can make this look more detailed with a uh, bump displacement in the geometry by giving it a subdivision surface and uh, making sure you are in cycles because it's only cycles that supports uh, the displacement. Uh, so displacement, uh, we need to give it a subdivision surface, subdivide this a few times, and uh, we can go in the material settings and uh, surface settings surface and change the displacement from bump only 
to displacement and bump uh, you can see now we have a b some bump detail like that uh, it's too much so we can reduce the scale to something like point uh, two and I can see now we really have some good displacement if I turn this off you can see how it looked before and this is how it looks now you get that bump detail in the geometry uh, not just in the shader now if you add a light uh, that bump will also self shadow its self shadow so you can see that's some amazing detail uh, so if you want to download material maker just go to the links in the description or just go to materialmaker.org go to the download page uh, it should take you to the download click the download button take you to the download page hit the download uh, you have a few options you can uh, donate five dollars one dollar two dollars five ten uh, anything you want uh, to support the project and uh, make it continue but uh, if you don't have a budget uh, to donate you can just go to no thanks just take me to the downloads and uh, click on that and uh, you should be able to download uh, the project for free uh, but i would recommend you give them a few dollars because this is an amazing project uh, that uh, needs to be needs support to have it continue yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video